Recently, I've been collaborating with Bart Castle, Cloud Bart, on YouTube about how we could integrate our Meraki network and alerts into the AWS cloud. Bart has deployed an AWS Lambda function, link below, you can check it out. And now it's time for me to test to see if this is gonna work for us. Let's go. To refresh your mind, whenever an event happens in Meraki, we can trigger what's called a webhook. And that means it will send a post request with a data payload to any HTTP endpoint that we desire. We have to build an application though that ingests this data and does something with it. Maybe write it to a database or maybe just persist it somewhere. The idea though is that AWS serverless options like Lambda functions give us a super lightweight easy and cheap way to ingest these types of data webhooks. They're also super scalable, so that way we don't have to worry about too many web requests coming in and then we have to scale servers up and so on. BART has deployed this Lambda function and now it's ready for me to test it. And I wanna test it using a tool like Postman. Now CBT Nuggets has amazing Postman training as part of our DevNet Associate course. Ben Finkel recorded it, and I strongly encourage you, if you're not familiar with Postman, or you haven't gone deep into how you can really set this thing up and configure it, take the time to watch it, because it is an amazing, deep, robust tool, which by the way, was written in Python. In this video, I'm gonna fire up Postman, and we're gonna see if I can get a 200 OK response when we send this data in. Let's check it out. Here I am on my desktop. I'm just gonna hit my Windows key here. I'll scroll on down to the P's. We'll grab Postman and fire this guy up. Here it's coming to life. Okay, we'll go full screen so we can see this thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a new collection here. We'll call this AWS or something simple like that so that I can store this particular project in its own folder. With AWS, I wanna create a new request and we'll call this Meraki Tester, something simple like that. And we'll save to AWS. I'll click on my Meraki Tester request here and it's time for us to start building out my request. I'm gonna change this to be a post request since that's how it's going to come in. We're gonna be posting in a payload of data, or in this case, Meraki will be posting a payload of data to this Lambda function whenever an event triggers. Now, Bart has sent me the URL of our Lambda function in a different channel, so I'm just gonna paste it in right here. It looks just like this. Clearly, it's looking like it's living in the US East. It ends with amazonaws.com, and it's got a prod endpoint, so we know this is gonna be our production endpoint where Meraki is gonna be sending these payloads in. But now it's time to actually set up this payload. We know that Meraki passes its authentication actually as a key in the payload. So I'll choose body. I'm going to set the payload to be raw, but instead of text, it's going to be JSON. Now this automatically adds the application JSON header. And all I have to do now is paste in a payload. For instance, Bart and I agreed on we were going to be tracking when the VPN status changes. So if a Meraki firewall loses its VPN connection for any reason, it automatically will trigger an event that will post a payload to this AWS Lambda function. One of the things that Meraki does incredibly well is they actually post their documentation with sample payloads and responses to the Postman website. So we have documenter.getpostman.com and we can see every single request, what method it comes in and how it looks all right here. VPN connectivity change, that was the big one that we were talking about here. And this is the payload that's going to be sent in. If I give it a click, it looks very pretty. I can simply copy this entire payload here and paste it in right here in my Postman payload. There it is. At this point, this should be all I need to make sure that this payload can be tested against the AWS Lambda function. I'll hit Control S to save and we'll send it on in. And the problem here is that I didn't pay attention to what Bart sent me. He said he actually changed the code in his item to not send the shared secret of foo. He wanted to look for a shared secret of a series of fives. So if I type five, 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 let's see if this does the trick. We'll send it in. All of a sudden, I get a 200 OK response. Look at this, it's alert type VPN connectivity change sent at boom. We are now sending in our request to the AWS Lambda function. Mission success, all we have to do now is actually set up webhook alerts in our Meraki environment. And that's exactly what I've recorded as part of the CBT Nuggets training on Cisco Meraki firewalls. So everything is looking good for this collaboration so far. I'm very pleased with how this is turning out and how we're integrating two platforms together to do really cool stuff with data. 
That's integrating Meraki with AWS. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. See you in the next one.